Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how to perform building inspections using the vertical scan tool available in UGCS. So let's get started. Here you can see I already have a 3D building imported in UGCS. Uh, while it's not mandatory to uh, have um, the uh, model 3D building imported, it uh, does help when planning the mission. To import a 3D building, you will need a KMZ file. If you have the KMZ file, then you can go ahead and go here to Map Options, Map Layers, 3D Buildings. And so here you can add a new building source. Select it, select Upload, uh, Clamp to Ground, and then Browse. Then choose where you have your uh, KMZ file of 3D building or multiple files. Click on Select, and then uh, they'll be uploaded, and then you simply drag them here using these arrows under Enable Building Sources. So then we can already uh, move on to the next step. The next step here is uh, to make sure that the parameters of the drone profile are correct. In this case, we'll be using the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Drone, and for that we will need to go here into the main menu, then Drone Profiles. Let's find where we have Mavic 3 Enterprise Drone, select it. And then here, where we have the uh, parameter safe distance to obstacle, by default, this value is set to 20 meters. So I would recommend that for building inspections, make sure to change this parameter to lower value, such as 5 meters, uh, since we will be flying closer to the building. So this is just to ensure that uh, you won't get the error message there. And so now we can already get started with planning our flight. So. Uh, let's start by adding a new route. So let's click here on add new route and let's create the new route from scratch. So let's click now on next and then let's select the uh, Mavic 3 Enterprise drone. Here just click on OK on these parameters. And then next we can uh, go ahead and select the vertical scan tool that's available here. So and now we can basically start uh, placing our points on the ground for the vertical scan. So uh, when you will be planning your mission, I suggest your uh, plan from uh, left to right because this will affect uh, the direction towards which the drone will be looking. So for instance, we can add this line over here and then I'll already continue planning there on the other side. And so now we can simply kind of extend the mission. We can add more points by clicking here in the middle of these lines. And so essentially now it's just a matter of making sure that uh, all of the points go fully around uh, the building. Also ensure a constant distance of the building to make sure that the GSD will be correct. Here in this example, I'll be using uh, approximately 10 meter distance to the building. And so here we can see this is already another building that's here. So this one we are not interested in scanning. So that's why this uh, flight will only be taking place from here all the way around the building. So let's just make a few more uh, slight adjustments here. Okay, so now our initial mission is done. And so now we can take a look at what parameters do we have here. So first off, we have the minimum and the maximum height. In this case, the minimum height is set to five meters. I recommend you leave it like that. Don't set it any lower. And the maximum height is set to 35 meters, which uh, in this case corresponds to the height of the building. If you're scanning a higher building, uh, then uh, you can change this parameter and increase the maximum height. Uh, distance of the facade, this is set to 10 meters, and I think if we uh, measure now the distance, this should approximately be correct. So we can go ahead and use the measurement tool available in GCS, and so here we can see that actually, so the distance is approximately 10 meters. So uh, there everything looks to be good. So now let's take a look at some other parameters. So we have the camera. In this case, the wide camera is chosen, but this is only for the flight planning. So the uh, actual cameras, they are also selected in the uh, DJI Pilot uh, 2. So for instance, if you're flying, I uh, also want to scan with the thermal camera. So then just make sure that the checkbox is checked in DJI Pilot 2. Uh, and then next for the overlap. So here we have 70% forward overlap. And then for the side overlap, we have 60, uh, that's okay. Uh, for the pattern, so in this case, since the building is uh, longer than it is taller, we'll be using the horizontal pattern for the building scan. However, in cases when uh, you're scanning taller buildings, such as uh, skyscrapers, for instance, in those cases, you will be using the uh, vertical pattern, which uh, will look something like so. 
But so now let's switch back to the horizontal building pattern. You can also see we have uh, parameters for the vertical speed as well as the horizontal speed. So these I recommend we set to slightly lower values. So the vertical speed, for instance, I think we can set to something like two meters per second. And then the uh, old horizontal speed, I suppose five meters per second should be okay. But we can also set it uh, just a bit slower. And so now next we uh, see we have the follow terrain checkbox. So what does this do? Uh, we can go ahead and click here on parameters and then show elevation. So by default, the uh, this inspection will be following the terrain that is uh, on which the building is built. Since as you can see here, so the building is actually uh, sort of built on, uh, on an angle, so to say. If you can see, so you can see that this street, for instance, this is going downhill slightly. So that's why in this case, we also need to follow the terrain to ensure that we capture all parts of the building. So that's why we need to make sure that this follow terrain is uh, kept on. And then the AGL tolerance, this simply places additional waypoints to account for any changes in the elevation, which are larger than this parameter. But in this case, this is set to one meter and this should be okay for us. So now uh, the uh, first part uh, is uh, more or less done. However, uh, let's also take a look at the camera parameters. So first we have the set camera attitude. So in this case, since this is set to zero degrees, this means that the camera will be facing directly towards the building. And that's exactly what we want in this case. And then also we have the set camera by distance parameter. And so then using this, uh, the drone will automatically trigger the camera every certain number of meters to make sure that the correct overlap is maintained. So uh, that's the first part of the mission where we are scanning uh, the uh, side of the building, but also we'll need to scan the roof of the building. So how do we do that? Uh, we can either add the photogrammetry mission in, uh, this same, um, in the same route, or we can add an additional route. So in this case, I will add a new additional route. So we can go and click here on add new route. Again, let's select the DJI uh, Mavic 3 Enterprise drone. Let's click here on OK. And now we can select the photogrammetry tool. And so then using this, we can plan the flight uh, above the building uh, and to be able to also capture the roof as well as maybe some uh, parts of the sides. So we can, for instance, put the uh, approximating points of the photogrammetry mission here. Now let's hit enter to complete. Uh, let's make some more adjustments if needed. And now let's wait for the route to be calculated. Uh, to make it a bit more simple, I will now click here on hide to hide our uh, vertical scan. And so now we are left with only our photogrammetry scan. Uh, in this case, what you also will notice is that I have the double grid selected. So you can see this is how it looks without the double grid setting. So just a single grid for the gram tree mission. And now we can uh, take a look at the parameters. So flight speed, five meters per second, uh, turn type, stop and turn in this case, camera as wide, uh, ground resolution set to 1.2 centimeters. And if you go here to show elevation, in fact, you'll also see the building model in here. So you'll be able to see what is the uh, AGL altitude of the drone above the building. So in this case, the AGL will be about 36, uh, 37 meters in this case, while the building's altitude is uh, 28 meters. So this means that we will be scanning the building uh, approximately 10 meters from the roof. And which also means that this is the same 10 meters, which will also maintain on the facade scan. So this is one way how we can make sure that the correct GSD will be maintained as we will be scanning it. Since this uh, flight will be quite short, in fact, we can also use the double grid to capture some more angles. And we can also take a look at the parameters we have. So we have the uh, set camera by distance action added here again. But now let's also add the set camera attitude action to adjust the camera's angle. So uh, we can either use 90 to be able to have the camera facing directly towards the roof of the building, or if you want to capture some oblique uh, images, then also you can set this to, for instance, 45 or 70 degrees. But in this case, I will simply set this to 90 so we can capture the details of the roof of the building. And we can take a look at some other parameters which are here, but overall uh, here everything is looking good. And uh, yeah, so now what we can do is we can show the vertical scan route as well. And so now you can see both of them together. So with uh, both of these flight paths, we can capture the sides of the building as well as the top of the building. And so one of the critical things here is to make sure that 
uh, the GSD will be maintained and that the distance to the building from the sides and from the top will remain more or less consistent. It's okay if there's a bit of variation as long as it's not too much. So I would say that probably uh, within about 50% uh, change should be okay because of course there will be some parts where maybe the building will be a bit further, but even here in those cases, you can move these waypoints closer if you need to. So yeah, that's essentially uh, it, how you plan building inspections. Of course, uh, different buildings might require some different approaches. You might have cases when you might have some obstacles on the ground, such as uh, trees, lampposts, and so on. So in those cases, you might want to, for instance, increase the minimum altitude of the vertical scan or fly around certain points uh, manually. So that's also possible. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's it for this video. And uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. And in case you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. So thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.